Hi, and welcome to another GCSE PE in three. This is where we try and do a revision topic in less than three minutes. If you've not seen the others in this series, go and look up on the channel uh, and help. hopefully that'll help you with your revision. So we're gonna look at muscle fiber types today. And the first one we're gonna look at is a slow twitch muscle fiber, and that is called type one. Now type one muscle fibers are really good for endurance events such as long distance running, long distance cycling, long distance swimming, because they're really good at using oxygen as their energy and they don't fatigue as easily. So you can keep exercising for long periods of time. Now the second one is called type 2A and type 2A are a fast twitch fiber. Now a fast twitch fiber means you can do speed and strength and power. Now type 2A have a little bit of endurance built in so you can do them for maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds, okay? Maybe even a little bit longer with training. You can train type 2A to endure a little bit longer, but they do fatigue. Because they're a fast twitch fiber, they work anaerobically. So they build up lactic acid and do start to fatigue relatively quickly, much quicker than type 1 muscle fibers. Now type 2X muscle fibers are your X factor muscle. They are the muscle fiber where you do super speed, super strength, and super power for a really, really short burst. So for example, the start of a 100 meter sprint, the push as you're pushing a shot put into the air, okay? So they have a split second movement. Now, in sport, other than athletics, it might be where you've suddenly got to change direction and push off the other direction to make a tackle in rugby. So you're in one position, the player's going, and you suddenly have to push off to go in that one direction. Type 2X muscle fibers are gonna allow you to push off with power to create speed to get to that person to tackle them, okay? Now, all of us have a combination of these. So you've got all three in your body, and depending on the type of training you do, will train those muscle fiber types. So if you do weight training, heavy weights, and few repetitions, you're quite likely to, to train your type 2A and type 2X muscle fibers. If you do plyometrics, where you're doing box jumps, you definitely work on your type 2X muscle fibers. Now, if you go and do more muscular endurance type training, like circuit training, where you're just doing body weight activities, you're more likely to type, train type one, particularly if you do continuous training where you run, you need to work on your type one. Now, now, in the exam, this has been a popular type question where they've asked you to compare the different muscle fibre types or give you a sport and ask for when each muscle fibre would be used within that sport. So, for example, they might give you a football player and ask the effectiveness of each muscle fibre type during a game of football. So you need an example for each muscle fibre type and maybe even have to say, which is the most important to a footballer. So for example, you might say that type one's used for a footballer when they're jogging into position or jogging to recover. You might say that type two A would be used when they're doing a long sprint to try and catch the ball or catch up with their player that they're marking. And you would say that type two X would be used when they're jumping to head the ball or doing a really powerful kick at goal. I hope this video has really helped. Um, good luck with all your revision. Again, check out the other videos if you want more help. 